What's the matter? Oi. Oi. What's up? Tell me about what you're thinking. Huh? What's up? Oh, whiny boy. Are you hungry? Huh? Is that what it is? Are you going to, <laughs> going to watch a bowl? Come on then, precious little boy. You want it? Yes. There you go. You get your breakfast on day 15 before I do. And what is my breakfast, you may ask? I have thawed some bread. Lovely. Nice and solid still. I have some eggs. £1.25 for 15. That works out at just over 8 pence per egg. Um, they are caged hens. Not a fan of that. Poor little hens. But um, for the sake of purity on this week off, I must uh, stick to the rules. On your pop for an egg sandwich, <laughs> no butter, nice and dry. Um, but I do have ketchup, which I have forgotten the price of. Where's the bloody receipt on? Uh, that would be 42 pence. So let's moisten up this bad boy. Never had this before. Ooh, very runny, had to check it beforehand. All right. There we go, one fried egg sandwich, Tesco value style, or oh, nice and runny yolk. Let's uh, try and eat a bite of this. Yeah, it's dry, yeah. Ketchups. Ooh, the ketchup is not good at all. It's very sweet, very sickly. Ooh, yeah. Well, I really shouldn't have used as much. Should have tried it first. Mm. Can't beat an egg sandwich, though. You definitely can beat that. To accompany my subpar sandwich, value apple juice. One of your five a day. How much do I have to drink? Like 30 cartons of it. Um, 65 pence for this one. And apple juice for a while. I do like it. Let's see if I can pour it without making an absolute shambles of this. There we go. Let's just pretend it's whiskey, and it will help us through our day. Or pee. Appley, quite sharp. No real aftertaste, strangely. That's very bizarre. But, uh, yeah, it'll do. Right, well, it is lunchtime. Um, really could do with a shave, but we're having work done on our bathroom because it's all broken and um, there is water leaking everywhere which is marvellous isn't it? But enough about that. I'm starving. Hmm. <laughs> Not sure about this one. 20 pence. Value chicken flavour noodles. Um, dubious about the flavour part. Probably actually zero chicken in here. One thing I, uh, I feel I should point out, and there's been a trend with these products, is the um, the crap that is clearly in them. Um, yeah, 11% of your fat, 19% of your saturates, 15% salt in a tiny pack of noodles. Um, that is down what it used to be, but there's probably still a way to go. Um, yeah, 221 calories, That's um, that's not huge used to be like in the 400s before they rebranded it. So there we go. How can I cook this? Thank God, microwave. Three and a half minutes, four minutes, okay. Let's do it. Doesn't this just look so appetizing? I guess the Americans would call it ramen. Um, I just call it a bit shit, really. Not looking forward to this one. Not much smell to it. Grumble, grumble. Right, 
time for the microwave. Oh, ah, very hot. Unsurprisingly, it's been uh, destroyed in the microwave. Never done these before in the microwave, but um, they look okay, I guess. Maybe I'm a bit drier than I'd have hoped. Oh, hello, Steam. How are you? You're on nuclear, but let's uh, let's try you. Ooh. Slightly uh, salty, slight chicken flavour. Texture's fine. They're not offensive, but they're not great. Twenty pence. Don't know if I said that earlier. Twenty p. Um, yeah, they're okay. Just salty noodles <laughs> with a slight. Um, threat of chicken flavour coming through. So while I wait for my noodles to uh, no longer be thermonuclear, I've been looking at the uh, Tesco website at the Everyday Value Chicken Flavour Instant Noodles. And um, here we go. They were 20% of your daily calorie intake, 403 calories. Um, the fat was 22%, the saturates 23%, and the salt 17 um, Which is insane. Like, in this tiny pack of noodles. Mental. But, um, yeah, as they stand now, they're a bit better. Um, even though they're just a little bit too salty. Not chickeny enough. That's a word now. Chickeny. Um, but whatever. I'm going to stop moaning. I'm going to get it down my gullet. Also have these. So life's not too bad. Starving. On my way home. On my way for food. Dinner. Sausages. Great. £1.29 for 20 sausages. How the hell can it cost 12 pence for one sausage? Um, two sausages contain 12% fat. Interesting. Lots of salt. I really want to know what the ingredients are. Pork. 42% less than half of a sausage is is actually meat. The rest of the ingredients include water, so okay, they're just pumped with water, rusk, pork rind, pork fat, salt, dextrose stabilizers, acidity regulator, antioxidant. What does that mean? These are antioxidant sausages. Aren't, does that mean they're medicinal? Medicinal stuff like Anyway, also having chips and egg. Sausage, egg and chips. Good old British dinner. There we go. Sausage, egg and chips. All value. With only 42% of early sausages being actual meat. Mm, let's be safe and try a chip. <laughs> we don't know what they taste like. They're fine. They're good. Nice over easy egg. At least I think it's over easy. Going by when I was in IHOP a couple of years ago. Bloke asked how you want your eggs cooked. Said over easy. Basically got raw eggs served to me. So there we go. Let's have a bit of uh, 42%. Not going to be able to. Yeah, that's not going to work. Wow. That's a hard shell on that sausage. Oh, that. The texture inside is weird. Kind of foamy, like sponge. I'm guessing that's the 58% uh, medicinal ingredients inside, the antioxidants. <laughs> yeah, they're not good. Have a bit of a dip. See if it improves. Not overly. Oh, that weird texture. Don't really like these. Um, but, yeah. Not got much choice. And some chips. Well then, that was interesting. Those sausages are weird. Foamy, sausage flavoured. Cylinders of... Yeah. <laughs> Didn't like them very much. The chips are really good. Um, the egg is an egg, basically. Not overly happy that it's battery, but yeah, maybe that's something that Tesco could work on. Getting cheap 
uh, eggs that are um, free range. That's the word, free range. Um, <clears throat> yeah. I'm really, really full. I feel really, really gross, actually. <clears throat> Don't know if I'm coming down with something. I hoped not. But um, there we are. That was day five. Was it? It was. Two days left. Um, yeah, I'm really looking forward to having fresh things again. I'm getting really sick of frozen stuff and just packeted stuff. I could do with apple, to be honest. Um, but there we go. So, yeah. I'm going to do that thing again. Please consider backing Viral, my novel, on the website Unbound. Um, and if you do, I will give you a sneaky peek at what's coming up for Shameful Sequels. Oh well, I'll do it anyway. Oh God, I've dropped it. Ugh.